<clears throat> All righty. We're live. The... Yep, there we are. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Uh, welcome to the stream. My name's Jason. Here on my channel, I stream myself uh, learning and creating digital art, uh, as well as a few other miscellaneous uh, tech and video game related things. Um, today, I'm taking a step back uh, from my diorama project. Uh, seeing as it's October, I wanted to try to participate in some way in the season. Uh, particularly the Halloween theme. I've never uh, never done anything yet. I thought it'd be fun to do something uh, related to Halloween. So I'm going to try to do a jack-o'-lantern. I haven't done much organic type stuff other than like maybe tree bark. Uh, so I made a pure ref board or for my artboard. And I just grabbed a bunch of images off of uh, Pinterest and Google and stuff. Um, just a bunch of ideas for jack-o'-lanterns. That was weird. My, my monitor turned off. I think I'm going to go for something between these two here. I really like these two. I don't know why. This one's really cool too, but it's... Not quite the theme I I like that goofy whimsical kind of looking jack o' lantern. So I'm gonna whoop, see if I can get that to fit back. There we go. Good enough. Uh, I'm just gonna pull that back on the other screen because those are not my images those are from pumpkin sculptors and other artists uh i'm just using them as reference all right so let's get started i think what i want to do is Let's go on here. I want to load in a sphere. Load, turn the floor on, just no, oh, not perspective floor. A better idea of what's going on <clears throat> okay and i like to use this mom mat cap dirty and think what's going on here come on keyboard work with me there we go There we go. Okay. Yeah, I want to do radial symmetry on here, but I want it to be in the Y, I believe, the Y axis. Yeah. Double check. Y and maybe maybe the X? No. Okay, yeah. Just the Y. And I'm gonna go ahead and dynamesh this. No, not that high. And I don't know if you need to do the same increments as uh, you do when you like resize texture maps, but out of habit, I just do that. Okay, so 
for pumpkin, we have the base shape. I think, I think I want it to be flattened out quite a bit. Try to get my overall base shape here. That might have been a little too much, huh? You know what? First, I think I'll just sculpt in the uh, the details. Yeah, let's try that. I've uh, never really, like I said, I've never done uh, really organic stuff yet. Oh, still on the move brush. Want to do? I'm gonna use my orb crack brush. And I, I'm just gonna freehand it. Kind of make it look like a basketball, I guess, for now. <laughs> and my lines don't need to be perfect because it's you know it's kind of an organic thing. That'll give me something to follow here. And I think I'll just kind of build up kind of like how I do my, uh, my wood textures. Let me turn the floor off. I am drawing a lot of the process to build this from the ZBrush artist Folygon. Uh, he does a really cool tutorial on a, like a pumpkin dog he made. You might want to check that out. He's an awesome ZBrush artist. Um, and he does a lot of, well, he he's, does live streaming for Pixel Logic too now. And he, the, he does use a similar technique to this, so I think it'll work out well for what I'm shooting for. See how my little orb flatten technique works. I probably shouldn't be jumping into the detail phase so quickly, but I just want to kind of get a quick idea of what I want to do here. Just want to focus on getting the uh the actual pumpkin. Sculpt it out. Oh yeah, let me make sure I have uh, speakers turned on. Oops. All right, quick little base shape. And this is the technique that I, I like that Folygon did. What he does is he, let me turn the rate, the symmetry off, is he splits it up. I'm going to try that same thing, but first, no, yeah, first we'll split it up. Or should I just get my base shape? Let's do the base shape. I'm going to do mine a little differently. Front. 
and go to deformers the soft deform couple that way one more six go and then we need six this way okay so I want my pumpkin to be flatter what I'll do is think right off the bat let me get the middle here I'm gonna scale it and scale it down scale it I want it to be a little bit wider than it is. Be a little bit more. I want to scale these down. Kind of what I want. Two. Kind of flatten the top and the bottom a bit more. Clear that mask. I want to get just the center, but just the bottom. Bring that one in a little. Build touch more. And then center the top. Down. Maybe even more. Peel it in. Bring it down. Really dips in there. I think for now, I'll accept that. Pretty good base shape for the gourd. El Gordo. Okay. What happens when I... Symmetry still good. Let's... Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Hmm. Let's go ahead and use the primitives. And I'll use a, I think I'll use a cylinder. And I'm going to split mask points and dynamish. All right. Now I'll grab the move brush. Let's go out. 
This is definitely uh, the same. This is very similar to the workflow that Folygon used. So this, I just like to give uh, credit to the inspiration. Let me try to use a different brush here. Let's see what happens when I use the... Uh, Move elastic. What's that like? I don't think I've ever used that one. Oh yeah, that's perfect. I'm just going to make this super random. smaller that's pretty good got a nice little cartoony feel to it quick dynamish top here I want to make that thing jut up pretty far, move to the left as it goes. Let me switch to lasso. Now let me mask lasso. First, let me get the angle extrude right. Oh, wrong one. There we go. Now what I want to do is I want to Lock it out. Wanted to make it go back a little bit this way. I don't really mind if it's got that weird steppy look to it. I'm just going to smooth that out. And now I'll uh, just kind of maybe the trim dynamic. I'm gonna mush this down. Smooth it out.
push it all together. Pen mesh, make the brush a little bigger. Mush it down. That's why I didn't mind if it had those steps. Plus, it, it kind of gives it a little bit of a like a slightly organic look. I I think. <laughs> I kind of wanted to twist around a little bit, use those steps to my advantage a little, kind of. Kind of curve that around. Smaller. It's so, be good for now. Let me uh, straighten. I think that's pretty decent for the base block out. I'll get more detail on it later. Uh, for now, I just want to focus on getting my basic shape out. I think I want it to scale down a bit. Let me dynamesh it. Top. End of that. That's pretty good. Dynamesh. All right. I think I'm going to merge these together. F, Shift F, you can still, I still got the two poly groups. I can't decide if I should try to make the eyes and the mouth uh, symmetrically, <clears throat> and then I think I should, yeah. I think I'll make them symmetrically and then use the deformer to, and the move brush to manipulate it to where I want it to be. Yeah, that'll probably be a little better. So let me group split. <laughs> there we go, group split. Okay, there are two things now. Switch back to the pumpkin. Make sure, and the floor on. Yep. My front. Symmetry on, radio off. Fine, I want it in the, there. Just on the front. Now, do I want to? I think I'm going to use the mask pen. I 
or you know what I'm gonna do that I'm gonna I'm gonna copy Folygon's technique and I'm gonna cut this apart first that's what I'll do Oops. Oh. Turn Dynamesh off for now. Mask Lasso. I guess I want to turn that off. He split it up into separate chunks and it, it made it look really good. Really liked that the technique he used. I'm gonna kind of clean my mask up a little bit. A little there. And a little here, back a little down here. I think that's pretty good. Doesn't have to be perfect. Come here, work with me. The W. Oh, you can barely tell that that's a different color. Okay. And then I'll do the same thing on this one. You know what? That probably would have just been fair. Let me. I'm just going to go ahead and delete this one. Go back to this one. Duplicate. Now I have my duplicate. And turn off symmetry. And slice curve. I think I'm just going to. Do a slice curve right through. I mean, it's they're not perfect, but I think it'll give me the desired result. Whoops. And one more here. Let's see them. See, I think. I think I want this one to be part of that one, so that. No. But hidden. What the? Wait, 
What just happened? Played that. Okay, there we go. That was confusing for a second there. Jump back up. I want to make this one and this one. That hidden. I'm just going to do that for each of these. And that should be good. That should be all of them. I should have eight little parts. says I have 10. <laughs> Double. W. Let's go through and see what happens when I dynamesh that. Okay, that's pretty much what I was looking for. Make sure it's one group. Dynamish, you gotta love that Dynamish. Okay, I think that's all of them. That's all of them, all right. Now I can kind of exaggerate the uh, the seams here. Let me smooth these out first. I'm definitely, as usual, like I just prefer to do stuff that's going to be a little more on the stylized side. Like I, this isn't, I don't, I'm not trying to do a uh, realistic pumpkin or a jack-o'-lantern um, for two reasons, because I just prefer to do stylized stuff, and I don't think I could do a realistic one quite well. Um, I, I haven't really practiced doing much realistic stuff yet. Uh, I probably should, but I just really love doing stylized stuff. Okay, let's see if 
That's a little better. What I'm hoping this will do is make it look like they're really a uh, probably even make the brush bigger but like a really exaggerated crease between the uh like I don't want it to look like a slice I want it to look like a crease or an indent I think that'll work I'm gonna make this brush a bit bigger. Let me go ahead and dynamesh this. Really knock this down. Kind of make it so it's not so perfect. Let me see what happens when I take this one, do the same process, kind of smooth it out. Without these edges, give it another nice dynamesh. And then knock it down with the trim dynamic. Here. Now, I want to inflate these. And again, this is uh, the following, I'm just following a uh, polygon or po polygons. Uh, workflow for this. I just I he had a really smart way of going about it, so I'm I'm just mimicking that. So let's see, let's inflate. Right. In. Not quite big enough. Whoops. Ah, you gotta tap it just right. At least double that. So there we go. And we'll do the same thing on this guy. I I hate how you ha you have to tap it just right, otherwise it moves the slider. I can now I'll go back in there with the uh and dynamic brush again just a little bit bigger and and I exaggerate the split here so it looks a little cleaner simplify it basically Just kind of doing, you know, you got to do a little bit of your own thing too, like.
like if you see a tutorial you like use it as your inspiration to try to learn but uh, do a little bit to make it make your own uh, model out of it because if you just follow tutorials I'm definitely guilty of this if you just follow them blindly to the T you're not really learning much you're just kind of you're just kind of mimicking you know like oh step one step two step three like it's you're so much better off doing your own variation of of everything you try to create if if you're following tutorials because i'm uh i'm a pretty terrible uh 2d artist so i need to just be mindful to be as creative as I can be when I do 3D. Not that I'm great at 3D or anything, but. There we go. Got that nice overkill seam right there, I guess, if you will. I think, yeah, and that's just going to be the process I'm going to do for each of these. Let's, I'm going to go through and inflate them. I think it'll look pretty good. I want to smooth this guy out. I don't like that. And then I'll probably come through here. Let me just kind of go through here with the polish and this brush a bit bigger. Maybe even bigger. I just want to smooth that out a little more. I sort of want it to look little bit like a, it's made out of clay not totally but just a little bit all right let's see our little stem oh i'm all upside down <laughs> i'm back in the back too all right, I'm going to take a little, little screenshot. Uh, let's see, render, render properties, details all the way up. Illusion, render, best. And then I'm going to go to document and do, do export there. Hello. Uh, oh, check o lantern. Fuck out. All right, I think that's pretty good for the, the base shape. Um, I am just kind of uh, winging it as I go. Uh, like I said, I'm definitely drawing the, the inspiration for some of the workflow from Folygon. Um, I'll leave a link in the description below if you're curious to watch his uh, Pumpkin tutorial, I definitely recommend it. It's super cool. He's a, a great, great tutorial uh, instructor for ZBrush stuff.
so yeah um i'm gonna call it a stream right there the uh, time for me to prepare for work 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 so i'll be back on wednesday if you guys have enjoyed the stream or have been enjoying the streams you know thanks for tuning in i appreciate it and for those of you who've just started uh checking it out uh, if you like what you see hit that like and subscribe button i'll be back on wednesday until then you guys have a good week peace jack-o-lantern